I'll take two minutes to just say that we always focus on the basics. Basics means you have to go to the fault they have made. When 10 years back this all scam was happening, most of the builders and authority did lot of mistakes by signing such things which they do cannot do or which cannot happen on reality like uh, a builder is taking a build a uh, plot of land from authority signing a lease agreement under certain conditions then he is giving some rights without informing the authority that he is giving the rights to that agency to build the building there and collect the money so we always focus on such important aspects which were the basics concentrated on that filed a complaint in eow was able to <coughs> successfully get the complaint uh, converted into fir in december 2015 and the builder is in jail, two of the directors are in jail now since 3rd August 2017. So from to December 2015, August 2017, it was a hard fight to get them behind the bars because EOW registering and F uh, FIR is very difficult then uh, getting builders arrested is all the more difficult because everybody's hand in gloves, you must be experiencing that. But you have to follow rigorously, there are, there are channels available to do that, so <clears throat> that we did. But here, I would not going beyond this, that what we did again Builder, I would be uh, asking this uh, RRM Foundation to go in the line that what can we do to knock down the authorities and the government starting from the time when this scam or this policy started until date what they are doing and what actions they are taking because individually we are fighting good with our own builders and actually builder is a small part so main culprits are authority and the government which bring down the policy of giving the land in just 10 percent and they were not in the picture till now when the buyers were not asking their money and were not going to the courts but now authority is in courts to ask for their outstanding fees when buyers are in court so all this is happening just because we are not concentrating on the uh, government part or the authorities part. We have to strongly take up that. We have to focus on that. Then only the fight will be, I would say, concluded in a right manner what we want. Because unless and until a broad action is taking care all against all these builders, individually anybody getting relief is very difficult because my builder can be in jail for five years, Vigneshwara Sunil Dahiya, who is the inventor of this assured return scheme, is in jail for three years, will not get any relief unless and until a government comes into picture, a transfer policy or maybe a policy of new company taking over that builder and developing that, that kind of schemes comes into the picture.